Sitting under the clock in Copenhagen Central Station, you can hardly find a more public location in Denmark. It's the place I've passed by since I was a kid. And I think what's incredible about this location is that people are busy, they're, they're, they're going places, passing by art, not necessarily recognizing it. And I think this is the true um, immersion into public structures and into public visual culture is risking the chance that art is not recognized as such, that it becomes an image, that it becomes a message, maybe think people think it's a business, which some of them are. Minerva Cuevas, who we're sitting in front of, is actually an, it's an advertising for her activist organization helping migrants across the border of the US and Mexico. Prosiepe and I shared, I mean, we, we shared this interest in artists basically going outside the space of exhibitions and inventing structures which allow them to find other systems of distribution, other systems of production, and other systems of dissemination. And then we also have uh, messaging, public messaging. We're really lucky to have the General Idea Animated AIDS campaign that have been going since the AIDS crisis began in the 1980s, where um, you know it's an image called Image Virus, and really it is about trying to disseminate an, an, a message of awareness into a, a public again and again and again, really like an image virus. We're still living in the AIDS crisis um, 30 years later, and uh, to have this once again be inserted into a public um, space is, is incredibly exciting. And uh, in that sense, some of these messages are new and, sometime, and some of them uh, are persistently old. Super fascinated, yeah, when you told me that you do this huge research for your thesis actually on artists coming up with structures of merchandising. And so in a way, this exhibition is for the first time a combination of our two researches in that. I mean, a red thread in a lot of our selections was artists who have businesses or who have activist projects or organizations that very much need to be advertised. So Espen and Maya are uh, two individual artists who often collaborate, and both of them are very interested in, in public structures. And uh, we have this wonderful artwork of the artist literally squished up against the wall, which weirdly echoes Pippa Garner, who is a, a much more historic name, who has also produced a, a, a new work for us, where the, art, the artist is similarly on display up against the glass wall. So I think it's not only artists doing advertisement as artworks, which is something which existed a lot, I think, in the 80s and onwards, but it's really artists also wanting to go to that next step and producing reality. And I think this is an exhibition which is about uh, the production of reality, and that's also why we hope that it can continue to grow, and that with this exhibition we can accompany the artists, you know, desire to, um, to produce reality, that we can accompany uh, uh, these projects and, and, and let them evolve, but also add new projects. There is a specificity to the advertising medium. It is about consumption, it is about desire, it's about eye-catch and attention economies. And art has a place there, and art has a role and function there. And it can subvert structures, it can re-diverge structures. And uh, it's been really fun to, to, to have these conversations with the artists. We hope this is the beginning. And Yep and I hope that this exhibition is then gonna grow, uh, it's gonna evolve and gonna happen in many different cities and that we're going to sit under the clock of many more railway stations uh, in the world. Exactly.